MTV reality star Farah Abraham making some headlines, not positive ones either, regarding her 12-year-old daughter, Sophia. We're going to get into all the details of the guys. Off the top, let me mention, if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. We are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon set up for you down below. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get bonus content. We also include the links for the YouTube videos up there to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, you can just comment on the video censorship-free, avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments that you guys write. Then make sure you sub to me over on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. So go check out what we're posting there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Farrah Abraham. Well, if you're wondering, who is Farrah Abraham? Well, she used to be on MTV shows 16 and Pregnant, was also featured on Teen Mom, and now at the age of 30, making headlines over her 12-year-old daughter, Sophia, who she has encouraged to just go out and take a pregnancy test. But do it for fun. That's what Farrah said. Because it's just fun to go out there and buy random pregnancy tests. And, you know, she goes, just have a little fun with it. Pee on it, you know? Experiment. It's totally okay. She's, Farrah is totally comfortable with talking about these things with her daughter. What kind of a parent, <laughs> what kind of a parent is this? This isn't the first incident, by the way, that Abraham has been, you know, criticized for. Uh, let's just go back uh, about a year ago. Let's go back to 2020. She was criticized after letting Sophia, then age 11, go ahead and set up her own TikTok. And then on one of those videos, oh, there was Farah with a vibrator with her daughter right there with her. But then Abraham got mad because all of these adult men started messaging Sophia on there. And she didn't like that. Well, what do you expect when you allow your then 11-year-old daughter to go up and set up their own TikTok page? You are out of your mind nuts. You should not be in any way, shape, or form be allowed to be a parent of any child at all. Oh, but do you think that was all? Let me rewind to 2018, if I can. Where it was there that Farah was getting butt injections and had her daughter, who was then nine, go ahead and video the entire thing. Yeah. What a mom, right? And her defense of this, Ferris said, well, it was educational for Sophia to see this because it was letting her know that, well, if you don't want to go ahead and have these injections into your buttocks later on like me, well, then that'll encourage you to just do squats. And so you stay in shape and you keep your figure looking nice. These, these... <laughs> These people are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Again, they should not be allowed to have children. They, they should not. They should have their kids taken away from them. This is outright child abuse. And I feel for these kids because they have no idea. They are going to be raised. This girl, I, I hate to say this, unless there is some sort of intervention from God or if there's someone in the family that follows Jesus Christ, they can get a hold of this girl and deprogram her from all the junk that her mom is spewing at her. You know, probably going out there and encouraging her to do the other stuff as well. Unless there's someone like that out there, then this girl is going to grow up to be just like her mom. I hate to say that, but this girl is a kid herself at age 30. She has no, she is still thinking that she is some sort of a teenager. By the way, not all teenagers. This is, I don't want people to think this is normal behavior because it's not. If you're raised in a good Christian home, well, then you know that you're not going to have your kid grow up to be like this. They're not going to act this way even as a teenager like Farah did. But this world, we continue to slip further and further down immorality, you know, encouraging her daughter, 12-year-olds, to take a pregnancy test. Yeah, and I'm sure they would celebrate it too if it came out positive, right? Because that's just something that people like this would do. This is another example. You know, I, I talk about this stuff because I'm trying to show you guys the examples of how far we have fallen from God and how we are in the last of the last days and that Jesus is coming back soon. People like Pharaoh Abraham, they need Jesus more than ever before. They have no idea where they're going to spend their eternity if they don't get their life right. But what about you watching right now? Have you made the decision to give your life to Christ? Well, if not, this is your opportunity. And how you do that is by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are.
But God gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. But what you have to do is you have to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then, and then, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below, including a link to a video where Pharaoh was interviewed about this very subject. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.